Hello, Sophie's community, and welcome back to another world. Thanks, Gonsoville. So, in this video, I'm going to be playing the tier 10 heavy, the auto reloader Italian, uh, Rontorante. So, now this tank gets a bad rep of having a bad gun. Now, the tank does 490 damage per shot. Also, it's an auto reloader, so that means the deeper that you go in the clip, the smaller the reload time is. So, we're going to be on Sand River. Now, the last spawn of Seven River and Standard Metal, I hate spawning on this side. Why? Well, everybody seems to go to the south, south of this map. The J HJK line, or some will go down the F line. And the TDs usually don't snipe over this way where I'm at. And you can see, I am completely and utterly by myself. And there's the first victim. There's the Falcon T-92. And since I do 490 damage per shot, I can two-shot them. So that's really nice. First tank down. And this was like one of my first matches in the Ron Trent deck. Because I recently bought this tank. I only have seven skills on this tank. But I can tell you what equipment and the cruise skills I have. So currently I have the advanced loader, gun stabilizer, armor angle. I mean, advanced armor and the enhanced target info. My commander skills would be Born Leader, Rapid Loading, Steadying, Deadeye, Sixth Sense, Armor Angling, and Situation Awareness. Now, since I am over here by myself, I'm going to have to defend this position because nobody else came with it. So I'm going to have to conserve my shells when I need them and use my rations at the perfect time. Right here, I am pushing up, which is a bad call. I need to stay back and stay hold down because this tank actually does have pretty good amount of armor. It has 190 millimeters of armor at the front of the turret. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it is pretty dang angled. You do have that weak point. It's like a horn thing. That's pretty dang weak and pretty much anything can pin it. And you also have 10 degrees of gun depression. So yeah, I could definitely work work with this tank and you can see I'm trying to aim for the small little waypoint here comes the Skoda T50 that was actually cliffing me out I'm gonna put one into him am I gonna and I'm getting shot from the side put two into him and I'm gonna kill the Skoda yeah I'm gonna kill the Skoda because I don't want the Skoda getting too close and the enemy team to realize that I'm the only person over here so I'm going to switch the heat rounds not because I need the penetration, just because I have more heat rounds than AP. Because I emptied the clip out, I want to switch to a clip that has more rounds. I don't want to run out of clip, uh, run out of ammunition, while I'm trying to defend this flank. And this tank goes through its ammunition very, very quickly. It does. So now, currently it's 12 v 12. Our team has killed three tanks. I have killed two of them. I have killed maj I have killed the entire tanks. Two two entire tanks, the T92 and the Skoda. So, now I just got to defend the spot a little bit more, trying to find shots. Because when I'm in this position, I need to put damage out as fast as possible. I need every shot I can take. That keeps my DPM high. I need to take it. That's why I'm looking for a shot. And I do not want to push up. And I don't want to lose unnecessary hit points. Because. Trying to win this flank. Hold this flank until the. My other 14 teammates can actually win the flank. You would think they would be able to win the flank. But yeah. My mission is to just hold here. And find shots when I can. And just stay hold down. And just stay alive now because i have heat rounds loaded i can now pin the frontal armor of the ronsrante so currently i'm fighting a ronsrante a t-34 another tank i don't remember what it was and also there are tanks pushing up down the middle so i want to stay where they can't hit me and the enemy artillery just got a, a bombardier medal with the Lynx 6x6 and the AT-15. 
Now, I'm actually going to be pushing up because I really want to kill this T-34. And I'm going to get in a position where I'm going to start losing hit points. I fell out of my position that was pretty dang strong and lost a lot of hit points. Because I got greedy and really wanted to go kill that T-34. Because I thought it was safe to push up. Then I was proven wrong because I spotted a chisel. As I was up there. I'm trying to say SOS. Help. Uh, also, the artillery is not even helping me on this side. And there's also a VK-101P and there's now a Tron in the middle. Likely, it is not paying attention that I'm over here. So, despite my entire team, 14 teammates are on the other side of the map, probably fighting 8, 9 tanks. Somehow they're still losing. It makes no sense. Yeah, I'm fighting a Chisel, a Ron Trante, a T-34, a VK-101P. I was also fighting a T-92 and a Skoda T-50. So six of their, six of the enemy teammates are on this side fighting me. And the 14 teammates I have cannot kill nine tanks. Yeah, it makes sense. And they're absolutely getting destroyed. Yeah, I'm, the, the enemy team is just uh, absolutely destroying my team. Now, it's not really a surprise to me because the other side is not really that good for heavy tanks or medium tanks. And our team was majority heavy tanks. And the other flank is not good for heavy tanks. Don't know why people keep going there in heavy tanks. It's just not good. You just don't have the gun depression. You get spotted out in the open and you're dead. You're just dead. There's no cover. And when you want to get shots, you got to poke out of cover. It all, and you got to expose weak points. Unless you have really good gun depression. Like, I mean, extremely good gun depression. Like a Kronbach. Or a Super Conquer. Or an E5. Then you really can't do much over there in a heavy tank. So, yes. This team got absolutely steamrolled. Like, 100% easy the, the enemy team just wiped the floor with our team because our team went to 14 of them went to a terrible position makes no sense anyway that's it for this video remember like comment subscribe also remember to subscribe because more and peace out see ya